singing before Chuck comes and, and leads us in music tonight. But let's stand together. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Let's sing that great hymn. Be seated, please. Pastor Mike. Okay, we just want to remind the ladies about uh, Tuesday, a special program with a special missionary. Don't miss that. 10 o'clock, okay? Also, don't forget, Wednesday night, we are back in 1 Corinthians. Very, very interesting part of our study, so don't miss that. Now, before you leave tonight, you're going to have an opportunity to give to the love offering for our guests. Uh, when we scheduled Chuck, there was not one mention of money at all, and uh, it's up to us to give him uh, a love offering. He and his wife have traveled all the way from Missouri, and they'll be going back there. Matter of fact, leaving, I understand, tomorrow. And we want to make sure that we send them away with a good love offering. And uh, all you have to do is get one of the love offering envelopes out there. The men, I think, gave them to you as you came in. You don't have to use this. You can just put them in your money in the offering plate if you want to. But if you need a record for income tax purposes, then be sure to do what I did. Put your name on there, put the amount, and you can either put it in the offering box out there or in the offering plate, either one, and it will go to our guests. Don't do that, of course, until the end. Don't get your money out to the end because I want you to get the full blessing of this concert tonight, and uh, we want to send our guest away, he and his wife, with a good love offering. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, and then we'll turn it over to uh, Chuck. Our Father, thank you for this day, for this wonderful day that you gave us, for the wonderful services that we had this morning, for those that came and, and made decisions in the early service. We thank you for all of those. And for those who were here in the second service who rejoiced and got a blessing out of being here, we just pray now you will use this service to touch our hearts and lives, draw us to the cross. And if there's one here that doesn't know Jesus, we pray that they wouldn't rest tonight until they get that issue settled. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.
is louder than you are. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to clap, go ahead. If you want to stomp your feet, go ahead. If you want to slap your neighbor, go ahead. But we're going to have fun. When I woke up this morning, the first thing that I saw was the sun shining down on me. I have a song in my heart and peace in my mind. I felt blessed from my head to my feet. I've been smiling all day long. And I'm rejoicing in my soul. I can't explain how I feel. I guess it's better felt than told. I'm having one of those days where I want to praise the Lord. Having one of those days where my heart is filled with joy. I want to tell of his goodness. I just got to testify how it brought me out of darkness into his holy light. such a miracle to me that my soul has been redeemed his grace has set me free and praise god i'm a child of the king some days i just can't help myself i seem to lose all control i'm having one of those days so oh, i just let the glory with joy. I want to tell of his goodness. I just got to testify how he brought me out of darkness into his holy light. When I feel like I can walk on water, I've got a mountain moving faith. So you just have to overlook me because I'm having a one of those days. song for you young whippersnappers my age on up living below in this old sinful world hardly a comfort can afford striving along to face temptation 
special sword Let me tell you, brother Where could I go but to the Lord? That wasn't me singing bass but Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking the refuge for my soul Needing a friend to save me in the end Let me tell you of you have never heard me sing before? Raise your hand. Where you've been? I've done three songs for you. Well, I saw you, sir. I, I'm keeping my eye on you. <laughs> no, the guy behind you. The guy behind you. <laughs> for those of you who don't know anything about me, you're some of the lucky ones, okay? Now, I grew up in Washington State, 45 miles northeast of Seattle, and up in the Cascade Mountains, a little town called Startup, like you start up a car a little German community, and I grew up in a little German Baptist church, very small church. And I remember growing up as a child so many times. After church on Sunday, we would go home and eat lunch, and then our parents would usher us out the door to Grandma and Grandpa's house. How many years have ever gone to Grandpa's, Grandma and Grandpa's house to play on Sunday? Okay, growing up, that's what we did. We, my, my siblings, my cousins, we'd go over there. It seemed like every Sunday we were over there. We'd go play in the hay barn or out in the field or out in the orchard. Or if it was raining, which was most of the time, we'd play indoors. Well, I remember one Sunday uh, afternoon, we were over there at Grandma and Grandpa's. My grandfather stood up and said, kids, can you all be quiet for a second? I want to hear this gentleman sing on the TV. It was George Beverly Shea singing this song. I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather be his than have riches untold.
us than anything, than anything, more than anything, this world affords to Thank you very much. And I remember growing up on, I got to go look. I think I got the long list on the floor. I do. <laughs> Who wrote that? Oh, I did. Is that the right song? What program am I doing? Okay, anyway, see if you remember this song. <laughs> Okay, there. Uh, that's, that leads me to another song. <laughs> I'm only human. <laughs> I, 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 in our little German Baptist church, I, I was in, we had 11 members in our choir, and I was the youngest, and I made the most noise. Because <laughs> at that time, I couldn't sing. And some of you may think I can't sing tonight, but I'll prove to you I can't. Anyway, I remember our choir director, she would do songs such as, Faith of our fathers living still. Or, Holy, holy, holy. But every now and then she would pull out one of them foot stomping, hand clapping songs like victory in Jesus. You can't clap your hands to that. I don't care who you are. <laughs> but up in Branson, this is the way we do it up there. Now we do it. I heard it. Savior came from glory, how he gave us life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning of his precious blood atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus. one when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the
the morning breaks eternal bright and fair when the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore and the roll is called up yonder I'll be there Some of you spouses have not sung one to another in such a long time. 
We're having a marriage seminar right after this. No, not really. That's February the, February the 20th on Sunday night. <laughs> uh, back, back, I, back when I was, I was trying to remember exactly how old I, or what year it was. It had to have been in the l- mid to late 60s. I was like four. Uh, Okay. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I remember a television show that had a song in it. And it was so moving. It, it, was, it was intriguing to a child like me at that time. And then I heard it over the years, uh, several years later. And then I thought, that's a, that's a not beautiful song. Then I heard it several years ago and I heard it again I thought I got to learn this song I finally found that found the track to it see if you remember this Our little German Baptist church. Matter of fact, every church we've been to, 
This has happened. Before the worship service, you'll have people stand back over here, talk, and back over here and talk, and up here and talk. And, and I can't say they're gossiping. They're sharing. They're sharing. <laughs> and then either, either the clock on the screens or the musicians will start playing or the pastor will come up and greet the people to let people know it's time for worship service. Then So they stop talking and they go to their assigned pews. <laughs> Get out of my seat. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, I've, heard that, I've heard that in church. I've heard that in church. <laughs> but not here. Not here. No, no. But, <laughs> but anyway, in our little German Baptist church, my mother played the piano and my grandmother played the organ. And it was my grandmother's job to go up and start playing the organ to let people know it's time for service, everybody be seated, that type of thing. My grandmother, she would play some of the most beautiful music on that organ. Now, she would play in German so you really didn't know what song it was. So, I want to see if you're awake still, folks. <laughs> One song she always played that it just put something in my head I, I, and I, it just brought back memories when I heard it years later. And through the years, I would still hear the song and it brought back up my childhood in my little German Baptist church. See if you remember this song. Thank you. 
drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray, someone will Of the storm, the smallest prayer will still be heard. I believe there's someone in the great somewhere hears every word. Every time I hear a newborn baby cry or touch a leaf. Slow it down for you now. <laughs>
very much. Um, I work at the Presley Show in Branson, Missouri. How many here has ever seen the Presley Show? Either, on, either in person or on TV. 6.30 on Saturday night on the RFD network. We have a half hour show uh, uh, every Saturday night. Sometimes they're rebroadcasted on Friday night, but on Saturday night. If you get a chance, look at it. I think you'll enjoy it. We had people come by all the time shaking our hands afterwards and then they ask us, how come you all don't do an hour? And I tell them because we don't know that many songs. If they only knew how much work it goes into recording those TV shows. But anyway, it's a half-hour show. Um, I do have brochures out on the table out there. When you leave, take one with you. It's a, it's a 2021 brochure. The 2022 brochure is not out yet, but it's going to be the same thing except for the calendar, and I hope I'm in it. <laughs> yeah. But then January and February, uh, yeah, January and February, my wife and I, we travel all over the United States uh, singing in churches. And some of the churches we've been to time and time and time and time again. And, uh, and, and almost every, it happens quite frequently. I will have somebody come up to me. And it's usually a little lady about this short will come up to me and say, you sang here last year and you did not do my favorite song. Like I know what her favorite song is. So I ask her, what's your favorite song? And she tells me and I go put it in the computer and I do it just for her. So tonight, folks, here is your favorite song, okay? I, I, do, I don't want you to come out to the table and tell, tell me I didn't do your favorite song. Yes, I did. And here it is. It's one of my favorite songs. There's a lighthouse on the hillside that overlooks life's sea. And when I'm tossed, oh, it sends out a light, a light that I might see. And the light shines in the darkness now will safely lead me on if it wasn't for that old lighthouse my ship would sail no Everybody that lives around me says tear that old lighthouse down. You know those big ships, they don't sail this way anymore. There's no use of a standing around.
Thank you all very much. Would you please make welcome my lovely wife, Sharon. Make her welcome, folks. Can we, can we, can we do a song together for you? Uh, we were going to do it anyway, so it doesn't matter what y'all, what y'all. dear. Back several years ago, a group came out with a song, a thought-provoking song. Have you all ever wondered what heaven's going to be like? Well, the Bible tells us, and I can't wait to see heaven. My mom and daddy talked about going home since I was just a babe on their knees. They said that nothing compared to what was waiting up there, how one day we would finally be free. Well, I've never seen it, but I keep on believing it will be a place like I've never known. I keep my eyes on the sky, cause my soul wants to fly. Lord, my heart is ready to go. Ha ha! 
This life that I live, it seems to peace is something I'll never find. Hiding my Lord when all that I've got to show is 700 things on my mind. I've seen visions of a crystal clear river where sin's forgotten without a trace. More than I've ever dreamed, my eyes long to see the look of love on my Savior's face. Sick for heaven, folks. There's a light in the window, the table spread in splendor. Someone standing by the open door. I can see the crystal river, so I must be near forever. I've never been this homesick before. See the bright light shine. It's just about home time. I can see my father standing at the door. all familiar no one's old or feeble anymore well my lonesome heart is crying guess I'll spread my wings for flying I've never been this homesick before see the bright the door. This world has been a wilderness. I'm ready for deliverance. Lord, I've never been this homesick before. Oh, see the bright light shine. It's just about home time. I can see Oh! 
you all very much. I'm going to, I got to bring this up here. I normally don't do this, but I'm getting older. <laughs> and I'll, I'm also, I'm leaking. <laughs> um, thank you for allowing my wife and I to be a part of your church family again. I hope we can come back again. Um, I, I got to, I'm going to do one more song for you, uh, and the reason why that is, <clears throat> uh, three weeks ago, we were in Pampa, Texas, and uh, we were setting up at a church on a Saturday night, went back to the motel room, Sunday morning, woke up, didn't have a voice, and uh, I called the church, went back and loaded my equipment, we drove all the way, 55 miles to Amarillo to urgent care on a Sunday afternoon because Pampa, Texas doesn't have an urgent care and their emergency room is closed on Sunday. <laughs> have you ever heard such a thing? <laughs> so we got down to Amarillo and uh, saw a doctor. It took three hours, but finally saw a doctor and uh, he uh, examined me and said, you don't have COVID. I went, oh boy, good. But you do have the beginnings of strep throat. I said, <laughs> so he gave me a shot and then gave me some medicine prescription for seven days. And he said, take this for two days, two times a day and rest your voice for a while. I went, huh? I had to cancel nine churches that week. And we drove back from Pampa, Texas, all the way back to Branson stayed home. The family didn't even come over to visit. All 11 of our grandkids never came over to visit. That was one good thing. No, I'm not. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Anyway, <laughs> but, uh, but how many here has ever drank and like hot tea? How many don't care for it? Well, I was one of them, <laughs> but I learned to love it during that period because it really helped my throat. And come Sunday, I was, got my, I was about 98% back to normal. And I said, I told my wife, I said, you know, the Lord opened the doors for us to go sing. We're going to go finish the rest of our tour. So we drove down to Bryan, Texas on a Tuesday, sang Tuesday night there and different chimes and all that stuff. And then tonight is our last time that we're going to be singing for a while. And we drive home in the morning, well, all day tomorrow. And then her and I and uh, Tim Gregg, who's also on the show, we got two singing dates next weekend, and we're home for a couple of days, and then we start another week and a half to, worth of tours. But <clears throat> I'm still not coming. I'm about 99.7725% there. I still got, when I push real hard and I have to get some of the high notes there, and my voice is saying, okay, that's enough of the high notes. <laughs> So that, that's the reason why I'm going to do one more song for you. But keep us in your prayers because God opened the door for me to go sing. I'm going to go sing. And I'm not going to give the devil the credit. And uh, I'm going to give God all the glory. And I may, I may sound like a Hermit the Frog, but when I, when I go sing, that, that, that'd be a novel idea. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But, uh, but again, thank you all very much for the love offering. Uh, we do have a table set up out there. We have a bunch of CDs out there. Uh, Homesick is my newest album. I've um, never been this homesick before, plus a bunch of other songs. We have uh, 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 Baton Rouge Live is a live quartet CD. If you like Southern Gospel Quartet, three friends of mine are not. Yes, I have three friends. Uh, we went and did a live album down in Baton Rouge. You'll enjoy that album. It's a live album. Then I have Again and Again. Uh, I'm having one of those days, which I sang earlier, is on that album. I have Look for Me. Um, uh, look for me, for I will be there too. It's a Happy Goodman Family song. Midnight Cry is on that album. Uh, volume one and volume two, 20 of my all time favorite songs like How Great Thou Art, Sweet By and By, Beautiful Land. Many, many older songs are on that one there. My wife and I have a duet album out there called The Cranes. Where, uh, where the Roses Never Fade is on there, plus a couple more uh, duets, and then some solos on there. You can get any, you get two for $15, three for 20, or all eight of our CDs for $50. If you buy the package deal, all eight, you get the number nine CD 
absolutely free. So that's nine CDs. That ninth CD has Lighthouse on it. So you get nine CDs all together. I had my business cards out there. I had the, the, uh, the Presley brochures out there. Come by and take all that stuff because I don't want to haul it home. <laughs> but I want to leave you with this one last song. <clears throat> and uh, it, it's, it's a simple, simple song. And uh, the first time I heard it, I fell in love with it. And that was back in the mid-70s. I couldn't find track. What well, Couldn't even find friends that would cut me a track on the album, on that song. And uh, one day I was on uh, Friends. I had the gentleman who sang the song became friends with me on Facebook several years ago. His wife did too. And every now and then he'll be on the Facebook. Facebook is good for some things. <laughs> for some things. Well, uh, I turned on my computer one day and there he was in the living room singing this song. His wife taped it. I immediately sent them a message. How can I get that track or get a track? I cannot find it. They responded, Chuck, if you'll send us $12, we'll get our engineer to take his voice off of it and send you that track and you do what you want to with it. Record with it, sing it in person, whatever you want. We want to get the song out. The gentleman's name is Jim Murray, and he was with the Imperials back in the mid-70s. It's a simple song. means to me God bless you and good night, folks. Thank you very much.
Okay, let's stand for our closing prayer. Be sure and say a word to our guests. Uh, they'll be out there. And don't forget to leave your love offering. You can put it in the, in the offering box or the offering plate out there, either one. Let's go now to the Lord in prayer. Ask God to go with us as we leave this place and touch our hearts and lives. And I'm going to ask Jeff if he would lead us in our closing prayer. Jeff.